Hello there, welcome back to my sewing room. Today I want to talk about an upcycled piece that I made the other day. Um, it's just come to my attention about the environmental impact and cost that fabric production has. I, I came across a video um, talking about the figures, the actual figures that just somehow impacted on me um, and through that I've discovered all that genre of upcyclers and recyclers and thrifting and charity shop shopping and and I was just taking it taken so taken with the creativity um, and you know that, that we do need to start thinking about what we're spending our money on about really what's the point the purpose the mentality behind going into somewhere like Primark or Peacocks or Tesco's and just scooping up armfuls of things that you're probably never going to use. You may well never wear them. You throw them in the back of the wardrobe. The places, that, I mean, these places are usually so manic and packed. It's not often you go into the fitting room. You just go, yeah, do you know what? I'll take, I'll take a stab at it. It'll probably fit. Only to find that it doesn't. And, and the, the sizes are so random and so on and so forth. Uh, with that in mind, I have found, I fell in love with a tablecloth from H&M about two years ago. Uh, just the fabric, just the print, the design of it. Loved it. I'm, I'm very, very fond of Japanese textiles. Of anything Japanese, Japanese design always fascinates me. Um, so this fabric was fabulous. But, you know, really and truly, a cloth table is quite, a, a cloth tablecloth is quite impractical in a busy household where you're serving at least two meals a day. And if you're anything like me, I'm just a bit slob, a bit of a sloppy. I'm always dribbling on myself. So after a while, it became apparent that the tablecloth was spending more time getting washed than it was getting used. And uh, I kind of, I folded her up and I put her away thinking you know, I'll, I'll keep it for special occasions and I did but then after a while she, you know where she, something sort of migrates to the back of a back of a drawer and all the tea towels get shoved in front came across her the other day and I went I still love you so much I am determined to find something to do with you so here it is in all its glory I made a kimono I, I think you can probably understand the Japanese feel to this this beautiful, I have to finish the next line. She's not quite done, but I thought I've got time today, so I'll do this. This, the Obi sash was basically the bottom end. <laughs> uh, I took a kimono pattern that I have and repurposed it, as well as watching a video on YouTube that's of somebody doing a kind of a different take on a traditional kimono and it actually really sparked something in me because of my shape I don't really have much of a waist all my bulk is around my middle so even though I love the idea of an obi sash it, it just makes me look like a balloon that's been tied through the middle but this one I don't know if you can see it the sash is integrated into the side seam. I've got, I'm going to put some pictures up so you can see it properly. But if you can't see it, anyway, basically the OB is just at the front. It doesn't go all the way around the back. So it doesn't break up the line. Uh, <laughs> Camouflage is a lot of my bulk around the front. And it's just lovely. I didn't have enough for, uh, I didn't have enough fabric for sleeves for the kind of the the amount of fabric that I wanted for quite a generous sleeve so I had some Irish linen that I found in a shop in High Wycombe and I'll, I'll put their details below as well the only problem with this fabric when I bought it was, it was only 40 inches wide and for that reason I only bought a meter and as I think anybody who's got a stash the infamous stash you think, I know I'm going to find something to do with it. 
and here I found its purpose. Um, and I'm chuffed with this. I'm over the moon. Love it. It's unique. It's 30 inches from the shoulder to sort of mid thigh. I think it's going to look great over jeans or something. I'm going to photo, do, do a photo session with it. Add some accessories and put it up for sale in my Etsy shop. So I've, there's me saving the planet one, one garment at a time. But I'm so happy that I don't have to throw this fabric out and that it's got a new life. But it's still kept the theme of what it was originally. Um, leave me a like, leave me a comment. Do you love it? Do you loathe it? And if you have any upcycling ideas yourself, if there's any, if there's anything that you've done, you know, the triumphs and the uh, not so triumphant victories. Because, and the thing is with this, you, you can make your mistakes, not the end of the world. And I, I think it, it you, you take a step into a different mode of thinking about you know, bring something back to life. Give it another life. Something that you would maybe have dismissed before. You can just give it a whole new purpose and meaning. So from me and Mandy, it's good night from her and it's good night from me. Come back and see me again sometime. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.